Hey guys! Today, Freya and I are going to read Junie B. Jones Loves Handsome Warren by Barbara Park. And the copyright date is... You want to read it? 1996. So if you are 24 years old or older, you were alive when this book was written. All right. This one is going out to Gus and Izzy and Harley. I hear that they've been listening to the stories during lunch. All right, chapter one is Handsome Warren. My name is Junie B. Jones. The B stands for Beatrice, except that I don't like Beatrice. I just like B and that's all. I am in the grade of kindergarten. My room is named room nine. I have two bestest friends at that place. One of them is named Lucille. She is way beautifuler than me. That's because her Nana buys her fancy dresses but also she has lacy socks with ribbons on them. My other friend is named Grace. Me and that Grace ride the school bus together. She has my favorite kind of hair. It is called automatically curly. Also, she has pink high tops and fast feet. That Grace is the fastest runner in all of kindergarten. She wins me at all of our races and I'm a good sport about it. Except for sometimes I call her the name of Cheater Pants. Oh, oh, well, well, here we go. Me and that Grace and Lucille played horses together before school. Horses is when you gallop and trot and snort. I am brownie, Lucy is blacky, and Grace is yellowy. Only today, me and that Grace couldn't find Lucille anywhere. We looked all over the place for her. Darn it, I said. Now we can't play horses that good, because two horses isn't as fun as three horses. Maybe she's just late, said that Grace. Or else maybe something went wrong at her house. I tapped on my chin, very thinking. Yes, I said, maybe her grandpa brought a parrot to her house, and Lucille was getting dressed for school, and then the parrot flew into her room, and he got all tangled up in her hair, and so her grandpa had to call 911, and a real live fireman came to her house, and he cut the parrot out of her hair with scissors. Only that left a teeny baldy spot. But guess what? If you wear a big bow, no one can even tell the difference. That's quite a story. That Grace looked curious at my big bow. I did a gulp. Yeah, only pretend I didn't even tell you that, I said very soft. After that, me and that Grace looked for Lucille some more. And guess what? I spotted her, that's what. Hey, Grace, I see her. I see Lucille. She's running past the water fountain. That Grace spotted her too. Hey, somebody's chasing her, Junie B, she yelled. Who is that boy? Who is that boy who is chasing Lucille? I squinted my eyes very harder. It is an evil stranger boy, Grace, I shouted back. An evil stranger boy is chasing Lucille. And so now you and me will have to save her. I waved my arm in a fast circle. Come on, Yellowy, let's go. Let's go, save Lucille. Then me and that Gracie springed into action. We galloped our fastest in our sh after the stranger. That Grace caught up to him speedy quick. She shooed all around with her arms. Go away, boy, go away and leave Lucille alone, she shouted. Yes, I yelled, leave Lucille alone or I will tell Principal on you because me and him are personal friends and he will pound your head. <laughs> Look at them chasing that boy. After that, me and that Grace kept on shooing our arms until he ran away. Then we did a high five. Hooray, we shouted. Hooray, hooray. We saved Lucille from that evil stranger boy. All of a sudden, Lucille came stomping at us, very angry. Why did you do that, she hollered. Why did you chase that boy away? Now you've ruined everything. Me and that Grace looked surprised at her. But we thought you wanted that, said Grace. We saved you from the evil stranger boy, I exclaimed, very proud. Lucille's in a mad breath. Hmm. He is not an evil stranger boy, Junie B. He's a new kid in room eight, and his name is Warren, and he's the handsomest boy I ever saw. He's even been on a TV commercial before. Me and that Grace ra raised our eyebrows. He has, said that Grace. He's been in a TV commercial before, I said. That Grace stood on her tippy toes. Where did he go? I didn't even get a good look at him, she said. 
Me too, I said. I didn't get a good look at him too. How handsome is he, Lucille? Is he handsome like a movie star? Just then that Grace jumped up and down, very excited. There he is, there he is. He's over there under that tree. See him, Judy B, see him? I squinted my hardest at that guy. Then my eyes practically popped out of my head. Cause he was handsome like a movie star, that's why. Wowie, wow, wow, what a chunk, I said. I would like him for my new boyfriend, I think. Lucille made angry eyes at me. No, she hollered, don't say that, Junie B. He can't be your boyfriend. He can only be my boyfriend, because I saw him first. I thought over it very careful. Yeah, only here's the problem, Lucille, I said. Me and Grace didn't actually get a crack at him yet. Yes, yeah, said that Grace, we definitely need a crack at him. And so now you have to introduce us. Lucille stamped her foot. No, she yelled, no, 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 because you guys will steal him away from me, and that's not even fair. Plus, Junie B already has a boyfriend. Remember, Junie B? You already have Ricardo, remember? I did another peek at Handsome Warren. Yeah, only I think I may be ready to move on, I said. That's when Lucille's face got boiling mad, and she stomped away from a speedy quick. Only me and that Grace didn't even care. We just kept on peeking and peeking at that handsome boy, because he was beauty to our eyes. Oh boy. Chapter two is called Pigs. Lucille sits next to me in room nine. I keep on being nice to her, because I want her to, I wanted to meet handsome Warren, of course. Wanna be friends again, Lucille, huh? Wanna be friends like we used to be? Think that would be nice of us, don't you think? No, said Lucille, you only want to be friends so you can steal my new boyfriend. I did a big breath at her. Yeah, only how can I even steal him, Lucille, I asked. Because you are way beautifuler than me. Remember that? Remember how beautifuler you are? Lucille remembered. She fluffed herself. Then she showed me her new lacy socks. Eight dollars and fifty cents, not including tax, she said. I bugged out my eyes at them. Wowie, wow, wow. Those are some fancy feet you have there, madame, I said. After that, I showed Lucille my socks too. See, Lucille, see mine. They are very sagging and droopy. That's because last night, me and my dog Tickle played tug of war with these things, and he got drooly on them. There's a picture of those saggy, droopy socks. Lucille made a face. Ooh, she said. I know they are ooh, I said back. That's what I've been trying to tell you, Lucille. I'm a big pig. And so how can I even steal your boyfriend? Just then, Lucille looked nicer at me. I scooted my chair closer to her. Now, we are friends again, right, Lucille? Right, I said. And now you can introduce me to handsome Warren, because I won't even steal that guy. Lucille fluffed herself some more. I don't know. I'll think about it, she said. I clapped my hands real thrilled. Then I quick stood up on my chair. Grace, hey Grace, I hollered. Lucille said she'll think about it. Just then I heard a different voice. Junie B. Jones, what do you think you're doing? It was my teacher. Her name is Mrs. She has another name too, but I just like Mrs. and that's all. I smiled kind of nervous. I'm trying to get a message to Grace, I said very soft. Mrs. hurried over to my table. Never ever stand up in your chair, Junie B, she said. You could fall off and break something. Yeah, shouted a meanie boy named Jim. She could break the floor with her hard head. I made a fist at that kid. Plus, also I could break your whole entire bean brain, I hollered back. Mrs. plopped me back in my seat. That's enough, she grouched. I mean it, Junie B. Not one more word. After that, I stayed in my chair very good. And I did my work. I did my spelling and my arithmetic and my printing. Also, I drew a sausage patty on my arm. Only that wasn't even an assignment. That is called working on your own. Pretty soon, Mrs. clapped her loud hands together. Okay, everyone, it's almost time for recess. Pass in your papers and line up at the door. Mrs. looked at me. And please, 
Let's be ladies and gentlemen about it. Ladies and gentlemen means no trampling thy neighbor. It's in the Ten Commandments, I think. Me and Lucille held hands. Now you're gonna introduce me, right, Lucille? Now I'm gonna get to meet that handsome boy. Just then that Grace runned up behind us. I was happy to see her. Grace, Grace, guess what? Lucille is gonna introduce us to handsome Warren because you and me are big pigs, that's why. That Grace looked upset at me. I am not a big pig, she said. I quick whispered in her ear. Yeah, only we're not really big pigs, Grace. We just have to say we're big pigs or else Lucille thinks we will steal her boyfriend. Get it? That Grace got it. I am a giant stink hog, she said to Lucille. And so after that, all of us skipped to the swing very happy. We sat down and we waited for roommate to come out. We waited a real long time. Then all of a sudden, roommate opened the door and handsome Warren came out of there. Lucille ran to him and grabbed his hand. She pulled him to the swings to meet us. That is Grace and that is Junie B. Jones, she said to handsome Warren. He waved very cute and friendly. Hi, quick, and hid it behind my hands because all of a sudden I felt shy of that guy. I peeked through my ping fingers. Peekaboo, I see you, I said. Then I laughed and laughed. Cause I'm a laugh a minute, that's why. I kept on laughing at that funny joke. Only too bad for me, cause after a while, I couldn't even stop. I was out of control, I think. I hold in my sides and fell on the ground. Then I rolled and laughed and rolled and laughed all around in the grass. Handsome Warren looked nervous of me. He backed up. What a nutball, he said soft. Oh, Jimmy B. Then he turned around and walked away, and Lucille and that Grace walked with him. Oh, goodness. We will read chapters three and four next time. Bye, guys.